Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ken. Can you say hi? And he's gonna walk away. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming again. I am now finding somewhat of a balance in my life right now. Um, but without further ado, let's get into a quick life update uh, of what's going on in our lives. Let's get right on into it. So first and foremost, I want to start with Mr. Cohen over here, mainly because it is still going on currently. Um, so about a week ago, Cohen got really, really sick, had about 102 degree um, temperature, um, wasn't really eating or drinking anything, not really having very many wet diapers, that kind of sort of thing. I took him to the walk-in and of course they COVID tested him, um, which I felt horrible about. Uh, that came back negative, by the way. And then they basically told me that it was an upper respiratory infection of basically doing what I was already doing. Blah, 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 blah. So I did that over the weekend and he just wasn't any better. And on top of it, he actually formed a bark cough uh, to where like it just sounded very congested in the chest. And I get super sick like that myself. So I took him to get a recheck at his pediatrician's office and they diagnosed him with RSV and an ear infection in his left ear. With that being said, he is on some medications and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what those are. So he is currently playing, he is up from his nap. I was gonna vlog while he was napping and of course he woke up faster than I could record. So with that being said, I apologize now for all the ruckus you're hearing in the background, but it is him being him. So with that being said, let's get into the medicines that I have been giving him. Um, so number one, we were using the Zarbi brand cough syrup uh, plus immune. Uh, they actually were all out at Target, so I switched to the brand Wellaments, which I tried when he was younger. And it worked really well. So with that being said, I got the two-pack of the Wellaments Organic Baby Cough Syrup and the Wellaments Organic Nighttime Baby Cough Syrup. So this is good for four months and up. Uh, he takes... Uh, he takes five milliliters um, every four hours of the daytime. And then once it gets to be bedtime, so right around like 7.30ish, he will get some of the nighttime one, uh, which, you know, lasts four hours, but he's been doing a lot better at nighttime. So that's all we've been having to do lately. Um, we've also been having to give Tylenol only when he's had a fever. I have not continued doing this just because he has not had a fever and like five days so we haven't been using the Tylenol but this was our buddy there for a while when he was having a horrible fever um he is also on amoxicillin which is in the refrigerator I'm not going to grab that just because it has his name and everything on there and I don't want to show that but he is on amoxicillin for his ear infection uh, he does have an inhaler from his previous time of having a respiratory infection, which I need to clean it because we used it right before his nap and I clean it every time and I did not this time. But anyways, mouthpiece, you put it in the end right there and he just has a little mini one from when he had his upper respiratory infection when he was younger, around seven months old. Uh, last but not least, we're obviously using a humidifier. With that, we're using like the Vicks menthol uh humidifier little little felt little things you put inside of it um which works very very well and on top of it we use Vicks baby rub soothing ointment um we use this and i also have the zarbi brand of it as well i just haven't been able to find it so i went and bought this um instead and it has worked phenomenal so that is pretty much the update um with cohen his clothes size as of right now is 2t to 3t depending on the brand um, and then diapers, same kind of thing, size in between five and six for size. Um, his favorite things right now are definitely his babies, which that being said, he has a little Doby, um, Harry Potter character. He has a little Doby, um, little stuffy that uh, one of my friends had gotten him. So he's clinging to that and he's also clinging to his blue elephant that he's had since he was a newborn. So with that being said, those are kind of his favorites along with trucks or any kind of musical interactive um, toy. Uh, he loves balls, that kind of thing. And we are just now getting into the hands-on artsy kind of things. And he really, really likes that as well. 
So with that being said, that is the overall update with Cohen. He is going to be getting a haircut here soon, so I will definitely have to record that as well and make a vlog out of it because I might cry. Um, but with that being said, let's get into my life update. All right, so for my life update, I have been working at that vet clinic now for almost three months. On the 23rd of this month, it'll be three months, so I would have been there for 90 days on the 23rd of this month. I absolutely love it right now. I am just a front desk receptionist. I started out pulled Blah. I started out part-time and I am now a full-time just because I actually enjoy it which is amazing I've never had a job that I have been so passionate about and like eager to wake up in the morning to go back to um, so with that being said 10 out of 10 on my job so far um, I am still working on my businesses um, I added a new one so that's why I said businesses. So I obviously have been a part of Monate as a market partner now for over a year. Absolutely love it. I am still actively, um, you know, promoting that. There is a fly that just flew by my head. Did you see that? It's that time of the year where like all the farmers are in their orchards and the flies are out like crazy and somehow they get into the apartment just like that one you saw and they drive us bonkers. Um, but anyways, back to my businesses. Monate's still going strong. I added on another business uh, that is the makeup company Saint. I love it so far. Just have to learn a little bit more about it before I start talking about it. But so far, so good. Um, but with that being said, I am filming on Monday. I'm going to be filming a couple videos throughout the next couple of days. Um, reasoning behind why I'm not at work is because there are some COVID cases within our work. So I took the initiative to stay home due to Cohen having RSV. Um, and I kind of felt a little poopy this past weekend. So I'm actually getting retested either tomorrow, which is Tuesday or Wednesday of this week to see if I'm positive for COVID. But I'm not really thinking I am because I've had COVID before and I have none of those symptoms. I actually feel a lot better today. It was more of like an allergy symptom. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, but with that being said, that is why I am having time to film. I am going to get better at filming. I promise guys, I just need to get better with the whole work life balance situation. With that being said, lately I have been working on self development. Um, so listening to podcasts or reading self developmental books, um, that kind of sort of thing. And it's really helped me in general, like grow as a person and grow as a leader for those who you know want to become a part of this business with me um and again just like i just said uh including in this life update um i'm still trying to find a balance in life uh with life and work and i swear i'm going to get better with that balance um but let's get into what you all missed the past couple of months into a fun little collage of videos
Okay, so last but not least, I want to talk about some of our future plans um, that are going to be happening and I'm going, I'm going to vlog them. Um, so we're going to be going to a pumpkin patch hopefully this coming weekend. Um, also, with that being said, we will be going to a corn maze and hopefully a hayride as well within the next couple of weeks. Um, we are going to go trick-or-treating. I am not going to say what Cohen is going to be for Halloween yet until we kind of put that whole week's worth uh, vlog together. And then you guys will see because you guys pr probably could guess what it probably entails, but I'm not even going to give you a clue. Um, so with that being said, I'm super excited for you guys to see what we have chosen for his first technical trick-or-treating outfit. Um, we are going to start planning a Florida trip here soon. Um, not like anytime soon, but you know, you know, in March or February, something like that. We are going to start planning that. Um, and I am going to get better at vlogging for that trip. Um, because I'm hopefully, I'm hoping we get to get to, uh, Disney and stay up in Orlando there for a day or two. Um, so that is what I'm hoping for. My fingers are crossing for, but we shall, shall see what that future brings. Um, we have started Christmas shopping, but I want to finish Christmas shopping. So that's in my to do's as well in the future. We're going to have a small little session done by, um, our photographer, um, perfect for making Christmas cards. So that'll be also a thing that we do in the future. Um, another thing I want to start working on is working out. I am now in a routine of making my bed first thing in the morning, listening to like a podcast first thing in the morning taking all my vitamins and what I need to be taking every single morning. Um, so with that being said, I need to start now adding in some workouts here and there just to see if I can keep that consistency up with that. Um, I do want to start posting back on YouTube uh, either once or twice a week just to start getting my consistency back. Um, I think it'll... I think it'll happen. I'm hoping it'll happen if I just stay consistent and confident within myself. I get way too much in my head when it comes to filming and posting. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't get very many views. Like that kind of sort of thing. And really and honestly, I do this mostly for fun, but I would love to do YouTube full time. Um, so with that being said, I do need to take it a little bit more seriously if that's kind of what I want to be doing is growing within the YouTube community. Um... And also, one last question, and I will close off this vlog. I have been thinking about adding like a cooking, cleaning genre um, on my channel, and I was just wondering what your guys' thoughts of that would be. Um, it would be, you know, quick, easy breakfasts, quick, easy lunches, that kind of sort of thing. Um, our favorite dinner recipes, that kind of sort of thing. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, I want to do like motivational Mondays where. You, I do like a cleaning video or I clean a certain room that day or something um, and break down the products that I'm using and stuff like that. But I want to know your guys' thoughts. What, would you guys enjoy watching a video like that? Leave your comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys love to see or let me know what your favorite vlogs of mine that you guys have like to see and I will try to do more of those. But anyways, I am going to close off this vlog with that ending. Um, I will see you guys hopefully this Thursday is when I want to post again and create a vlog. Um, so with that being said, hopefully we see you again on Thursday. Otherwise, we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.